Andy, welcome. Is there such a thing as a best outcome and a or a worst outcome from these midterms for investors and the market? Well, Tyler, historically speaking, the third year of the presidency has done well, no matter what the results are in the midterm. But specific to your question, divided government post midterms has done the best. Um, we've shown that it's over 13 percent on average growth, whereas single party control, if that's continued, it's done the worst. It's around 5 percent, 5 to 10 percent, depending on which numbers you're using. So that's the normal. But I think we're at different times. There are multiple variables at stake here. We've got the Federal Reserve. They're the ones driving the markets right now. And so it's really about when they take off the brakes, when inflation's under control, and when the economy can start going in a different direction. I, I, I'm curious. I mean, we have what is passes for single-party control now. You have a, a Democrat in the White House. You have Democrat control in the House of Representatives. And you have a tie in the Senate that is broken uh, on those occasions where it needs to be broken by the by the vice president. Is that single party control or is it really to me it's single senator control because one senator whether it's Manchin or Murray or uh, any of any of them can be that single senator who you know obviates or gets rid of the idea that there's single party control at all. Well I think that's a very good point Tyler. You've had two senators um Senator Manchin and Senator Sinema, who've really controlled the agenda for the Democrats. And um, so, but at the same time, at least if the Democrats could come together, they could pass something on their own. And so you've seen President Biden do both the bipartisan move as far as negotiating a bipartisan infrastructure bill in this first year, and also doing the Inflation Reduction Act later this year. So he's done both. I think once control of at least the House goes over to uh, Republicans, um, he'll, he's going to have to take a, a bipartisan pact, and then for the things he doesn't like, he's going to have to veto. You know, uh, I, I've been covering elections for a long time, and what really struck me about Elon saying that 66 percent of the voters just want change. They think the country is going in the wrong direction. It seems to me like every election, whether it's a midterms or the presidential election, the country feels like that, that there's a sense that we need to change. For business... If that change includes congressional gridlock, can it still be a good thing, Andy? Well, actually, it can. So when you have gridlock, so to speak, what you're really talking about in the body government is you're, you're really reducing the bid-ass spread for what I call policy volatility. You're, you, you, there's not much you can mess up, going too far to the right or too far to the left. And there's certainty, more less uncertainty about what will actually happen. So in this new Congress, whether it's Republicans just take the House or they take the House and the Senate, there's a very limited amount that can be done. And my default is going to be no, that most things can't get done. And there's going to be this sliver of things that can be done.